El Porteous, your top three as of right now. But we are taking a look at your defending gold medalist from last year. This is Nico Porteous. Nico at the top there, eyeing it up as we are just under the 25 minute mark to go here. Nico gets things going, switch stance, going switch right side 900. Here he's got a double cork, a new one for us, the switch double 1440. Right side 12, so already lots of rotations. There's a 1620, another massive spin, and a double flat spin. How did he hold on to that? I have no idea. Listen to that reaction as he makes his way to the bottom of the pipe there. Wow, so up top there, that is a first time I've seen that in a competition with the double, switch double court 14, and here's the 16. I mean, look at that tweak. Grabs the safety, wraps up. I mean, he does those 1620s as if they're a 900. He makes it look so easy when in reality, it's not that easy. And a, nut, a nice double flat spin to finish at the end. Judges, wow, they got the work cut out for them there. After watching Aaron's run and then Nico's run, so much technicality. He was the youngest on the roster at 19 years old last year when he got that gold medal. The switch 1440 but the grabs, the landings, all the style elements of it were just a little off, so look for him to clean it all up here, and if it's locked in, that run is a gold medal favorite. Oh, there's the switch 1080, so scaling that run back, and he's gonna give us the back-to-back -back 1620s instead. There it is, two 1620s, one final hit, alley-oop, double flat spin, Nico Bordius. An incredible run from the Kiwi. Wow, Nico Porteous. That is his winning run that we saw from last year. The massive 1620s in the middle of the run. Really one of the only guys doing not only one 1620, but also a right side 1620. So now we play the waiting game to see where this puts him in the overall standings. So again, no scores out here. It's a live ranking by our judges. 34 minute jam session out here tonight. We're just under 15 minutes left to go here. Pre-run, Nico was ranked number four. Is what is it going to be? And it's enough to put him in into podium contention. He slides into that silver medal spot. It's not enough to overtake Aaron Blanc as of right now. When we get to Nico Porteous here at the end of round three, let's check in with DC. Yeah, thanks, Jimmy. This is absolutely insane, as you guys are witnessing. And talking to David Wise, I was like, dude, what is going on right now? Why is everybody throwing down some of the best runs I've ever seen them do? And he said, this is it. He said, this is one of the best pipes they've ever competed in. And he said, these are some of the best runs that he's ever seen anyone do. He said that switch dub he did on his second run, biggest one he's ever done in his life. Noah Bowman throwing down a new contest trick with that right dub 14. We are seeing these guys push the limits and having some of the best performances ever had in their lives. And that party is going to continue as we are going to get another round of runs here. Oh, Nico Porteous, there's that new trick he learned, the switch 1440. So trying to keep up with that level of progression, he's got the back-to-back -back 16s in his run, which you would think would be enough, but some of the grabs and some of the amplitude, that's where David's run excelled and why it moved ahead of him. He was going so big. So Nico Porti's gonna need that 1440 in there to keep up. 